Hey everybody, it's Aaron coming to you. I'm just showing you today on how to install WSL or Windows Subsystem Linux for PowerShell onto your Windows PC. Uh, that way you can use it for different Windows command line or uh, Linux command lines within the Windows PowerShell system itself. This will be the first process in our steps for the Sphinx documentation tutorial. And overall, it's just a good video to have out there as well. Just because when I was going through learning this stuff, there wasn't a whole lot of documentation out there. And there wasn't very many good videos for it as well, surprisingly. So I thought I would just go ahead and take it upon myself and make a quick video to go with this tutorial setup. And then also just as a general video, just for referencing back to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our Windows PowerShell. And once we have that open, you'll see your command line there for it. And it's in the standard Windows command line system that they have. So first thing we're going to want to do is install WSL. So we're going to type in WSL dash dash install. Now I've already installed WSL onto this system. So Ubuntu would already be uh, installing onto the computer itself as well. And that process does take a while and you can install any other uh, Windows or uh, Linux image that you want to install instead of Ubuntu. It's just the standard one that comes with WSL and it's the main one that I usually use as well. So I just kept it on there. So after that process reloads and everything with Ubuntu after it installs, you'll actually want to go through and you'll want to exit out of your system. That way you can make sure that it captures everything and reboots it all. So we're going to go ahead and log out that way. And another step too, when Ubuntu installs on there, it's going to ask you for a username and a password for your system as well, which that's a good process to have on there. And once you get that and you'll exit out of it, you can go back through and you can just type in WSL to start the Ubuntu uh, launch on there with WSL. And once you launch it, and if it launches correctly, you'll see your mount and then the drive that you're using, the users, and whatever the username is as well. And that way you know that you're in that Linux subsystem for Windows that way too. So let's go ahead and test this out by list, looking at a list of directories for our system here. And we can see that all the directories came up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get into one of these. We're going to go ahead and use Codecademy that's right over here. It's just a sample one that I've done with Codecademy before. And it's just got a sample dev project in it too. So we're just going to see if we can get into it to see if the system's working correctly. So once I CD'd into that, you can see in the directory uh, path that it's going straight to Codecademy. So everything's going well. So we can exit out of that directory and go back to the user on there too. So we can look at that and then pull up all the directories with it too. So everything seems to be working okay and that's great. So this video is like I said, short and sweet just to show you how to install WSL onto your system. And once you want to exit back out of that to get into the Windows PowerShell command line, you just have to type in exit and that's as simple as that. And then once again, WSL to get back into it. Well, thank you all for watching the video. Remember to subscribe to my videos and keep an eye out for those Sphinx documentation video tutorials coming up as well.